Today guys, I am going to take you on an exciting adventure. I'm going to attempt to grade the road in the backwoods with a tractor. The New Holland T5. For those of you who are new to the channel, I am WT Farm Girl, what the farm girl, and this is my first generation family farm. I've been farming for six years now. Um, one of our biggest struggles out here on the farm, besides time management, <laughs> is learning to get stuff done the right way. Two years ago, we went back there to repair the roads. We put culverts in, I learned how to use the backhoe, Yeah, that was great. The John Deere worked really well for it. Unfortunately, um, people were using the roads for hunting access with the side-by-side -side and quads and left ruts there because the ground wasn't fully cured. But the first step is just smoothing out the ruts and so that's what I have to do today. <laughs> Hopefully. All right, we got it back here. It is beautiful today. There are butterflies everywhere. And probably lots of other, oh, there goes a butterfly. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, I just fell in a giant hole. Uh, this area apparently never got brush hog, mostly because there is an extension cord running from the solar panels to our maple syrup vacuum. Maple sap vacuum. It has not gotten cleaned up and it is still live, so you don't want to run it over. Uh, yeah. So, not a big deal. I can still walk back here. As long as I don't die. Woo! <laughs> okay. Yeah, there are giant tire ruts going through here. Also not my cup of tea. The poison ivy that is everywhere right through here. Random stick. Um, one thing I forgot that's kind of a major issue is this line right here. I can't get through here until I take this line down. Um, yeah, so I kind of forgot about this and the screwdriver is actually at the house. And I don't think I have one in here. Maybe I do. It is a mess in here. All right, this is a whole nother video for another video. Anyway, oh my gosh, I really don't want to mess with this. I am so allergic to poison ivy. Eric's like, oh, I'll just go back there and till it up. It should take you maybe half an hour. Yeah, well, there's always some weird things like this that pop up. So that half an hour is probably more realistically three hours. So I gotta figure out if I can unstring this. Hopefully. Woo! A little edgy after falling in the hole. And this is why you always wear pants in the woods. There is no way on earth I would ever wear shorts in the woods. You'd have to pay me probably a thousand dollars. Well, okay, maybe a hundred. I would go in the woods with shorts for a hundred dollars. But that's not. kind of need like two tools for this. One to lift up the thing and another to... Uh, I can't win. I don't have screwdrivers in the tractor yet. I don't think I have anything on the tractor. I have a knife in my pocket that I brought just in case. I got my knife. I don't want to break this on this dumb thing. I mean... I could probably get it off with this, but I'd ruin my knife in the process. Don't want to do that. I'll be right back. All right, I do have this. This is from one of my subs, Gord Baker. Uh, I believe it was to line up the holes on the hay carts, which we've been using it for, as you can tell. But I think it might also work for this, as long as I don't get chewed up by deer flies. And I know you guys would love to watch this right now, but, um, the only way to do that would be to set you in the poison ivy, and I'm not going to do that. Oh, one down. It's working. 
Hopefully it doesn't sling back and slice my arm. Cause that's always a reality when you're dealing with wire under pressure or tension. Is that it could get ya pretty good. So I'm trying to keep my glove in the way. Like I can unhook it. Come on. Come on, buddy. You can make it. I make just a whole video on trying to pull this dumb thing out. Okay. Woohoo, got it. So this was the hardest part, just getting the hook out. Um, there's a little hole in the ratchet that you slide this hook into and then it just holds it in place. So now we can take this and uh, hook it on one of those trees over there. We got this whole area clear now, right? Oh gosh, more poison ivy. There you go. I think that's the only obstacle out here. <laughs> Famous last words. So, yeah, um, it doesn't look too wet. The biggest thing I have to worry about are the culverts. I can't till the culverts. I can till up to the culverts and then basically push like dirt over top of them, in front of them. And, uh, oh, dang it. I forgot about that tree. Shoot, guys, shoot. <laughs> now, <laughs> something I usually ask myself while out here on the farm, what would Eric do? And depending on the situation and what he would do, I might do the opposite or I might do the same. Yeah, it looks really wet through here. What would Eric do? He would take the tractor and just blast right through that tree. I think what I would do instead, since it's up there, take, oh shoot, I don't have the forks, do I? Crap. I put the bucket on because we use that to smooth the road, but at this point I kind of need it. And I don't know that we still have a chain in the tractor. I think Eric pulled it out. We'll have to see. This will make great firewood for maple syrup season. But it's kind of blocking my pathway and I gotta get back there, so. All right, obstacles are assessed. Um, I'll see what we can do. Time to put your guesses down below. What do you think is gonna happen? If I can't get the tree out of here, I don't really know that I wanna go ahead and till this up. Because if I only till half of it, it could end up ruining the road worse because the water's not going to drain correctly.
in. That, yes, that could have ended very badly. That ratchet strap could have broke, snapped back at the glass. And that was actually using a broken ratchet strap because it broke after the first pull. Um, the other half of the hook just came off, but I don't even know where it's at. So I ended up just tying it loosely and it, it did the job. But now we can get back to grading and hopefully, hopefully this goes well. Whew, you see how wet it is. Um, and it's only gonna get worse. It's going to fill with water. <sighs> Should have been done over the weekends, but shoulda, coulda, woulda on a first generation farm. Gosh, it smells so nice back here. Oh, such a beautiful day. Perfect day for in the woods. Like seriously, if you guys are in the city or suburban area and the weather's decent, get out to the woods and just sit there and enjoy the air. It's so fresh. Yes, I love farming, but I love more being in the woods. It's just it's home for me. So, hmm, I think Eric was the one that graded this out last time. I really think he was, because he's the master grader. I did all the ditch work. I don't know. It's it's just gonna be winging it. This is not a permanent solution. Keep that in mind. It needs something on top of it, but for right now. The number one priority is getting the ruts out so that hopefully water can shed off from it and it doesn't get worse. tough dragging the back back it bucket backwards um it's really sticky it's sticking to the bucket um it does seem like it packed it pretty good i think having it slightly wet is actually to its benefits it's packing instead of just sitting there
infinitely better. Um, unfortunately, it's not going to flatten down very good because of the clay in here that is wet. <sighs> Some parts are looking good. I mean, it's looking better. I couldn't get that edge for the life of me. Uh, I'm just going to get close enough over there, but that's not a big deal right there. I just figured since I was out here, I'd clean it up. This corner looks great. Um, statistically, this corner is usually the worst, and it looks really good. Um, and then from there, usually these big ruts are caused from rocks that end up getting dug up and drug. So that I must have hit a rock and drug it up in there somewhere. It's probably, actually, it's probably back there. I probably kept dragging it because I could feel it. This corner was tough. Um, I started running over the edge over here. You can see it caved in right here. Um, when you're back dragging it, it wants to twist you a lot. Um, this probably should have had a little bit more pressure on it. This was the part I was really working on and it turned out a lot better. Um, so I pretty much think that's the worst part. Oh my gosh, seriously, you guys really need to smell this sometime. It smells so good out here. It kind of has this smell of roasting marshmallows over the fire. That's what it smells like. Not really smoky, but like that cooked marshmallow smell. That's what it smells like. I don't know why. There's nothing blooming that I can see, but it smells good. So definitely not perfect, could use improvement. Um, this will probably get kicked over as soon as it rains. Um, this part was a little sticky, really sticky actually. It stuck to the, all the bottom of my foot. Big blob right there, a little bit of a dip right there, a couple other little dips. I mean, it's it's gonna, water is gonna pool there. There's not much I can do. Um, the road is just, it, it needs a lot of work. So. The goal here wasn't to grade the road to grade, it was to grade the ruts out. And I did accomplish that for the most part. So at least it's not going to rut up and fill up with water. Um, it's better. It went a lot better than I thought it was going to. Um, as far as how well it turned out, this is probably about as much as I thought it would turn out. I'm sure if Eric did it, it would be a lot better. Um, at least this is improved. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you uh, enjoyed that. And like I said, don't be afraid to get out and try it. Um, even if it's not the best job, it's fine. You're learning as you go. And the more you learn, the more you practice, the better you're going to get. Because nobody is perfect at this to start off with, right? So, yep. Hope you guys enjoy your week and find something cool to try out. See you later. Bye.